Okay, guys, <laughs> I just popped in for another unboxing here at DHS Graveyard. As you can see, the sorting table is in a bit of disarray because we're trying some new things out with our set for the regular podcast. But today, I think we've got a couple of shipments. Not exactly sure what they are, I have an idea. But I've been buying some individual tapes here lately where, you know, if it's an individual tape that I'm interested in, I might go a little higher. Typically speaking, I, I go for the lots where people are just getting out of the hobby and maybe they've uh, picked up a mom and pop store's catalog of tapes or an old blockbuster, lots of old blockbusters. I can tell they're blockbusters because lots of times tapes have been labeled dustly or they tend to have the same rotation of movies. I digress. So today is a little bit different. Okay, I know what that is now. Um, basically, um, I don't really have a section on like uh, those like rated R, erotic thriller type films, basically your Shan Tweed Fair. But I did watch a lot of those back in the day um, and I had a chance to get a lot of those. So we're gonna check those out right now. So let's see here. Don't know, this is just random. Uh, something called Hustling, not familiar with that one. Um, the Locust, I see that it does have Ashley Judd in it, not familiar with that one. Um, ah, Jennifer Tilly. Uh -huh. Yep, this was definitely one of the lot that made me want to get this lot. And let's see here. Human Desires, Shannon Tweed, of course. This is probably what attracted me to this lot to start with. Naughty but nice view in 3D glasses and clothes. Well, I don't see any 3D glasses. Holy crap, the 3D glasses are actually, actually in here. <laughs> One of the lenses is completely white, so, well, no, it's not okay. We'll see how that works on VHS. I'm just not real sure that's shaky technology, but to be honest with you, I didn't even notice that when I was looking at this lot, so that's definitely a bonus. But this is gonna start the erotic thriller section. Even though they're largely uncategorized now, the long-term plan is to uh, categorize genres and subgenres, and then little niche genres within the subgenres. Um, using an app, actually it's on the phone, using an app to, to, to log all the media and categorize them as far as uh, classification. An American Affair, not familiar with that one. But anyway, this is my erotic thrillers lot, and it's a good start to it. And I had a few others, and probably what made me think about that was just randomly uh, watching um, The Granny, The Granny, which had kind of a, I forget the actress's name now, but sort of a Shannon Tweed-like actress, and I noticed that she had had a bunch of films in that, that same little subgenre there. This is probably another a lot of something similar. So let's check this out. I am ripping these to uh, digital at a high rate lately. Oh, what do you know? This has nothing to do with VHS. This mini tapes can't have enough security does. I do have some, some more coming which is why I thought that's what this was. But in any case, that looks like that's it for today. I'm just sorting through. I'm happy to say that I've laid out the schedule for uh, the VHS Graveyard podcast, and this Sunday we'll be recording episode two, I think, and, and which is gonna be in the Mouth of Madness. John Carpenter's in the Mouth of Madness. Um, but we have definitely been um, laying things out and I now have a schedule of 11 or 12 of them already and I think that's going to put a Gremlins episode coming out around Christmas if we're able to meet that one a month. Hopefully we'll be able to do more than that but for sure one per month and I'm just going to keep on keeping on with what we're doing here and getting the uh, the little uh, gems out of here and uh, it's not going to be all horror. Uh, what I have for the first 11 is mostly horror but there's gonna be some sci-fi in there as well. So pretty excited about that. It's been a lot of fun and uh, we'll just keep on keeping on. So check us out.